Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And a few weeks back, I posted this video of swipe to delete interaction on my channel. Pretty straightforward interaction. Uh, we used interactive variants to build this interaction. But immediately after posting this, I got a lot of comments and a lot of DMs on my Instagram and LinkedIn that, hey, can we do two interactions in one single card? For example, a left swipe to delete and a right swipe to archive. And is it even possible to do two interactions in Figma? So this simple answer is that yes, you can do multiple interaction in Figma to a single element. And let me show you how can you build, let's say a left swipe to delete and a right swipe to archive in this particular uh, feature. So let's get started. It'll be a very quick video. I'm not gonna explain everything because we have explained the building of this entire component and all in my previous video. So I'll link that below and the card above so you can just check it out. In this one, I'm just gonna explain how can you add two interactions to one single card. So let's get started. So we are in Figma right now and let me quickly explain you the elements that we will be needing for this interaction. So on the left you have the iPhone 11 Pro Max artboard and on the right first of all you have a group which I have applied auto layout to. It contains an image, a body text as well as a name text okay and how did I design this? You can check out the older video on swipe left to delete feature to understand the entire thing. I have explained the process there. Now this group contains this element. Uh, we also have two more frames so one frame is this which contains the delete icon and i've given a red fill to it so it just contains an icon and i've given the red fill to the entire frame similarly on the left you have the archive option it just contains an archive icon and i again have given the green fill to the entire frame now the first thing that we want to do is, is that we want to place these two icon uh, and this body uh, group inside a frame so what i'll first do is i'll select this body uh, group and I will hit Option Command G on my keyboard to contain this in a frame. So I'll hit Option Command G and immediately you see it's converted into a frame. This frame contains this body. Uh, I'll just rename it to main component so that we understand it better. Perfect. Now what I'll do is I'll select these two icons and I'll Command X cut and I'll just select the main group and just paste it here. Okay. Uh, we want the delete option to be in the extreme right so I'll align it to the right and we want the archive option to be on the left so we'll align it in the left and we don't want them to be visible in the first go so I'll just move the body copy on top so only when we move the body left or right we'll be able to see the uh, icons two icons which are behind so if I'll just hide it you'll see that it's there the two icons are there just that the body text is hiding the entire thing okay so perfect now our main component is ready what I'll do is I'll first create two variants or two copies of this. Uh, basically one we want as um, the left swipe option and the other one we is the right swipe variant of it. So I'll just select the main component and I'll duplicate it and I duplicate it twice. Okay. I'll just move it a little bit left and right so that it's just easy as for us to understand which one is left swipe and which one is right swipe. Okay, perfect. So uh, this one I'll call right swipe so just me just to rename the frames okay and this one we'll call left swipe okay now when we left swipe anything uh, the left swipe the card we should be able to see the delete option so what i'll do is i'll just come here double select and i'll select the body option here and i'll start moving it on the left with my arrow keys so if i move it with my arrow keys on the left you will see that the trash icon is now visible and one thing that we forgot to do is we'll select the entire frame and we'll turn on the clip content option so that we are not able to see anything that is flowing outside of the main frame okay so just select all these uh, components and allow clip content to it perfect so our left swipe is done when we move the top layer we should be able to see the delete action uh, on the right side what we want is when you move it to the right we should be able to see again the right option so i'll select the body one and start moving it to the right from my keyboard perfect right so we have now two variants left uh, designed one is the left swipe one is the right swipe and this is the main component when nothing is visible okay now what i'll do is i'll select all these three frames i'll go on top and here you have an option to create component set basically it'll create all the variants of this component combine them in a variant group so I'll do create component set 
and you see now we have three variants enabled for this component one okay so this one is a default main component then one is right swipe and one is left swipe perfect now let's do our quick prototyping this is the same way same procedure that we are following for that we followed in our last video so let's quickly just do that so i'll go in my prototyping tab and what i want is when I go inside the element and I'll see this body uh, group. When I move this body group left, I should be able to see this. Okay. Now you don't have to specify left and right because there's no way to do that. Uh, but Figma automatically knows where are you moving things. Okay. So that's the good part about Figma. It automatically knows based on your gesture what are you trying to do. So we don't want on tap, we want on drag. Okay and change to so these are interactive variant that's why you're getting this option change to so make sure this is enabled for you um, an animation we don't want moving we want smart animate ease out 300 millisecond perfect so when we drag left we'll see this similarly what we also want if we don't do anything uh, we should be able to go back to the same card okay so if let's say we have swiped left and we don't do anything any action to it we should be able to go to our main card so I'll select this and I'll drag an arrow back. I'll select the entire frame here. So left side is entirely selected and I'll drag it back. We don't want on tap, we want after delay. So let's say after 1000 milliseconds, if I don't do anything, um, my car should automatically revert to its original state. Okay. And smart animate is out 300 milliseconds. Perfect. Now left swipe is done and till here we have done it in our older video as well. Now we want a right swipe as well right so let's do that so i'll come here again and i'll select the body option to which we have attached the previous interaction and if you see when you hover on it it'll just change to a plus so that means you can add multiple interactions so let me just quickly click on it and when you click on it it'll give you an option to drag an arrow okay and just move it to this frame and we don't want on tap we want on drag so if you see both are on drag this one is also on drag this one is also on drag Figma will automatically know which one you're trying to do based on your uh, drag direction. Okay. And change to right swipe, smart animate, ease out, 300 millisecond. Perfect. Now, again, we also want the same thing here that if we don't do any interaction, uh, it should automatically revert back to the previous state. So I'll just select the entire right swipe uh, component and then select this one. Main component, smart animate. We don't want on tap, we want after delay. 1000 millisecond, 300 millisecond is out. Perfect. So we have wired these things up. Let's see how it is working and if it's even working or not. So to make sure to check it out how it's working or not, we'll go in our assets panel. Okay. And our assets panel should show this component. So if you see component one is showing here, I'll just drag and drop here. I'll go in my design tab and I'll align it. Okay. Perfect. Now uh, let's just quickly do a test. So here is our element. If I do left swipe, delete, perfect. Automatically closing as well. If I do right swipe, I'm getting an archive option as well and it's automatically closing as well, see? Perfect, I can do anything I want. So that's absolutely nice, right? So I think both interactions are done. What I'll also do is I'll just make a few copies and change the text so that uh, we can do make it a little bit more realistic and if you want to do that uh, option where i click and it disappears and moves up the way we have done for the other one when we click on delete so it's again i have mentioned in my previous video I just have to link this one to the next artboard i've explained it how to do it so basically do that let me just quickly change it and show you how it will look like when all the interactions are done and i think that will be it for this video this is how uh, you create two interactions in one single card.